All right, what's up everybody? We are on episode 19 of Attack on Titan and you know normally I would try to in the intro of course talk a little bit about what I'm expecting for the current episode but coming off of the last one it honestly left me with a lot of question marks and I didn't really know what to think. Again we are obviously going after the female titan. Um, strategy kind of seems to be that now you know Eren's squad is basically in the middle of the forest right that's where the female uh, titan approach uh, has been approaching them now and where levi decided to fire a smoke round um which should tell all the others you know uh, about their location i guess and where the female titans should be so i guess now the plan is to have everybody ambush it at the same time or something like that right now fortunately we did get a little bit more, uh, I guess, information simply out of the title that I'm seeing right now on screen for episode 19, which is called Bite. And so the first thing that I'm thinking of is like, okay, it's uh, maybe about the self-inflicted injury that, um, you know, I think Aaron was talking about previously, or at least that we saw him do, right? He basically bit his own thumb, I think it was, and that's what made, it turn, it turn, uh, made him turn into Titan form. So that's making me think now, okay, so could the strategy be to have Aaron turn into a titan to fight this female titan now in the forest or something right um i have no idea but that's basically what i'm currently speculating right now and i you know i'm i'm, I'm super hyped to just yeah find out um what's gonna happen i think other than that there's really not much more for me to uh delve into i just want to uh, you know get started with the episode and see where things are gonna go and of course let me quickly point out that on patreon you can already check out the next five episodes so that's episode 20 until 24 um, are up there right now for you to check out as well as full length reactions if you want to watch the entire um, you know uh, you know uh, like episodes with me all the way through with all the commentary included of course so go check that out it's linked on top of the description and then for now let's actually dive into episode 19. <laughs> Whatever is happening uh, what is going to happen this uh is looking to be uh, the promise of a pretty epic fight uh, coming up. I mean, again, I would now think, based on the title, that the strategy is to have Aaron kill it in Titan form, but then why is Levi firing this shot to let everybody know their location? Because that would imply that he wants everybody else to show up, right? Oh! A noise grenade? Wait, is a noise grenade like what? To protect them? Or. So this whole thing, like, could it be like a test by Erwin? Man, he really is just testing Eren, is he not? Like, that's what I'm really thinking right now. Oh, here we go. Is he actually like fully recovered enough? Because that's what I was thinking about too. Okay, I guess he isn't allowed to do that. <laughs> this is, I mean, this has got to be there, 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 like. They are just testing him. Okay, 
誰にもできないエレお前と俺たちとの判断の相違は経験則に基づくものだだがなそんなもんは当てにしなくていい選べ自分を信じるか俺やこいつら調査兵団組織を信じるかだだからまあせいぜい悔いが残らない方を自分で選べ<laughs> so I'm guessing they do also like want him to just obey their orders. ジンカしたお前を止めるにはコロスしかないと言ったがこのやり方なら重傷で済むようは同じの肉ごとお前を切り取ってしまえばいいその際手足の先っちょを切り取ってしまうが待ってください。どうやったら生えてくるとかわから
気分はどうだあまりよくありません I mean, he clearly wasn't fully ready even to turn into a titan yet because of the abysmal <laughs> quarter of a titan he turned into now. あそこまで自分は信用されてなかったとは。いくら考えたって何一つわからない状況が多すぎる。ならば勤めるべきは迅速な行動と最悪を想定した非常な決断。かといって血も涙も失ったわけでもない。ギバイ兵長。うん。判事分隊長が及びです。上への説明に手間取っちゃってさ。ま、とりあえずこれを見てくれ。ティースプーンですか。そう。I really don't see。What that means。巨人を殺す。砲弾を防ぐ。いずれの状況も Okay. You need to have a goal. <laughs> Yo, what are these requirements, dude? Bite yourself, you need a goal. <laughs> how, how can I guess this shit? <laughs> Apparently. Apparently, wanting to pick up a spoon is enough reason to uh, turn into a titan now. As long as you have a goal, that's 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 it. This is some like Harry Potter shit with the room of requirements. Ellen, <laughs> I'm almost inclined to try it myself, but no thanks. <笑>お前を抑えるのが俺たちの仕事だ。私たちはあなたを頼るし、私たちを頼ってほしい。だから私たちを信じて。<笑> So I'm guessing this is what they prepared. Yep. I'm genuinely wondering, like, will this even kill it, you know? You would think so, but at the same time, you don't. Oh, it's just gonna trap it. Okay. Something for Hanji to look forward to. <laughs> yeah, because I guess the only way to kill it is again to just strike it near the neck, right? まだ油断はできない。しかし、よくこのポイントまで誘導してくれた。高烈の犯が命を落としてはっ。<笑> So, so we're gonna find out who's inside of it the uh, next episode? Fuck man, I wanna watch it. <laughs> it's honestly a little bit like comforting for me to know that, you know, sometimes the rules in this universe just cannot be guessed and you're not really gonna find out until you actually find out, right? Because that's the thing, like, again, I, f I feel a little bit um, stupid sometimes for the speculation that I do or whatever. I don't necessarily always like doing it. I know that it might be what people do want from me out of it, so that's why I still do it. But, um, like, again, this, this whole thing about, okay, Aaron uh, couldn't always manage to turn into a titan form. 
Uh, and now you learn why it's not just that he has to do the self-inflicted injury. It's also that he needs to have a goal. So, of course, previously the goal would be to protect his friends or to move the boulder, right? And this time it was, oh, to pick up even something as silly of a goal as picking up a teaspoon is apparently enough for it to, um, to trigger, I guess. And so... Yeah, it's interesting. I do wonder now, like, okay, so when it triggered, was that because he had inflicted injury on himself right before that then? Still, so I guess that still made it count or whatever. Again, you can go pretty far with this. But that's the thing, like, the rule set of this universe, uh, I don't think anybody could have guessed that particular detail in advance, right? That you needed a goal for it. Um, well, I, 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 well, let's just say my head goes off to anybody who would be able to predict that stuff in advance because i feel like that's just uh, almost you know near impossible but um yeah nonetheless uh, awesome episode um maybe something else that i could you know just mention is like uh, once again like like some of it also appears that's the thing i'm sometimes a little bit sus i get really suspicious of certain characters because of how much they keep things a mystery uh, all the time right and so for a while there uh, well I do think part of this whole expedition in a way is a test for Aaron right because it's very clear that like yeah again Levi and Irwin and um, you know the people in the survey corps they aren't particularly necessarily uh, right now trusting Aaron still right like again they were trying those type of experiments on him previously we learned now where they initially wanted him to be trapped in this well and turn into a titan and stuff like that. And now, uh, you know, Levi was... Uh, there was that scene with, uh, you know, Levi and stuff where Aaron for a second there was like almost wanting to turn into a titan, but 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 that's not what uh, Levi wanted. And so it was kind of testing Aaron's ability to just obey to, uh, you know, their rules, I guess, right? And and to simply say, like, no, I'm going to listen to you instead of myself, because that's the thing. Aaron very much acts on his own impulse um, a lot of the time, and uh, that's something we learn about his character from the very beginning of the show, and uh, that's obviously not necessarily what, um, you know, Irwin's squad wants him to do, especially knowing that he sometimes can't control himself in Titan form. So, so you know... For a while, I was even suspicious a little bit, like, okay, so is the female titan in some way, like, was it uh, part of the plan? Or was it, like, did they know about it? Or even worse, maybe, like, is it, uh, <laughs> like, did they somehow know about its existence or that it was even part of, of their whole plan or whatever, right? And uh, right now, like, yeah, at the end there, it does very much seem that... Um, you know, the, 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 the female titan, they are very curious to find out who is actually controlling it or whatever right and i guess we are gonna find that out very soon now that they trapped it and so that's just what i'm looking forward to right now and uh, you know i guess that pretty much uh yeah covers it all and uh, at least the, the most important parts of this episode and um you know again i'm just curious to see where it goes um yeah one more thing i could quickly mention i guess is how of course when Aaron did turn into a titan there um when picking up the spoon, of course, it was a very... Uh, it, it only seemed to be like a quarter of the Titan or whatever, because he hadn't, I guess, fully regenerated yet. And I still don't know what that really, like, is about. It seems like he he can't constantly turn into a, a Titan. He needs to give himself time to regenerate. But there also, I'm very much unsure about the actual rules of it. And if it just, like, if he recharges by time, or if there's something else that he needs to do... Um, they had teased that already way previously, I think, when his nose started bleeding or something after he had been a titan. Um, you know, because again, like, he needs time to to, to um, recharge or whatever it's called, right? Or to regenerate, I should say. And so, uh, yeah, I, I also want to learn... Again, I want to learn all those details. Like, uh, what exactly is entirely needed for him to be able to turn into that titan? What is causing the fact that he can't control himself sometimes? Um, when is he fully regenerated? And can he, uh, you know, like, turn back into one? with his full abilities and stuff like that. And uh, I think the frustrating part is that, like, my hunch feeling is obviously... Well, it's not even a hunch feeling. I feel like that's a fact. Aaron's dad knows all this stuff. I mean, he must have, because he's the one who, who injected him with that stuff. And, uh, you know, we've seen his character only really in the beginning of the show. And then I think in, like, the, 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 the little flashback scene with uh, Aaron and Mikasa, right? In, like, episode six or something that was. And uh, since then, we haven't learned anything about him. And I don't... I don't think we're really going to see him 
until probably like the next season or something like that. Yeah, you know, they first need to get to the basement, <laughs> which we still aren't getting to. And I doubt he's going to be there. Again, he was going away to do his own thing. So probably after they go to the basement, the next objective is going to be tracking down the dad or something uh, for, for, for even more information or whatever. But that's so far away. And like, that's the thing. They right now are, are trying to learn all the answers to their questions kind of organically when I feel like, well, the real... Um, the real person who probably has a lot of these answers is the dad, but they can't get to him, obviously, because there's a lot of, uh, <laughs> well, we don't even know, I think, where he really is. And uh, even then, there's a lot of titans, let's say, in the path to getting to him, uh, uh, let alone, you know, the basement. So, yeah, that's, uh, I, once again, I think that really covers it all. So with that being said, I very much look forward to diving into the next episode uh, very soon. And for now, of course, you can support me on Patreon, where you'll be able to get access to the next five episodes already. So you can see all my reactions to uh, what is to come um, over there, as well as full-length reactions. So, uh, you know, check it out. It's linked on top of the description. And then for now, uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.